Our final reader tonight is Andrew. Andrew Weiss, Andrew, is that you? Yeah. We need to pick up the flowers. Uh, are you here also new? Yes. We have like, so many new people here this evening, but yeah, welcome. Welcome, Andrew. Um, introductions uh, seem kind of customary here, so I'll say something real quick. Uh, what I do is a little peculiar because I like to sort of exploit or play with um, a kind of tension or cross-pollination between poetry on the one hand and philosophy on the other. Um, so, uh, sort of inflects the way that I speak here. The breathing of philosophy. This is a name for a rhythm and a way of thinking philosophically. Philosophy wants to expand and contract. It moves outward, expanding to more general insights. It moves inward, contracting to more specific details. But breathing is never finished. One is never done with inhaling or exhaling. And just when one of these two movements appears to be done, it is precisely time for the other. What we exhale, we sometimes call waste, if we think of it at all. And yet birds fly in it. Remember, a tree is a form of thought, a mountain too. A frog thinks, a cricket thinks, a bull thinks, an elk thinks. An ibis, a peacock, a humpback whale all think. A dugong, a tabby cat, an elephant, and a dragonfly too. Moths, mosquitoes, spiders, and pack rats, gulls and anglers, and cuttlefish as well. We will never be done enumerating the forms of thought or all the thinking that has been, can be, and will be done. A form of thought thinks. Thinking, too, has a form. Let neither of these be privileged. This is not an idealism. These forms of thinking are not merely some shadow of human thought. Animals and vegetables and minerals are thoughts and forms of thinking unto themselves. It is necessary to be given room to breathe. By letting the figure of breath breathe in this text, we here arrive at a series of broad formulations or definitions. Taking a deep breath, we can express the following. Breathing is expansion and contraction. Breathing is persistence and fluctuation. Breathing is receiving and giving. Breathing is one process among many. Breathing makes possible and relies on many other functions, on many others. Breathing is both conscious and unconscious. Breathing has many forms and emotional attunements, even for so sim seemingly simple an undertaking. It is never possible to take only one breath. What can be said or thought or written under one's breath? And what is underneath a breath? What makes breath possible? A great many things, and more than this. A living body with lungs that can receive oxygen and expel carbon dioxide. A mineral cage, a bone cage to protect the lungs with a rigidity flexible enough to fill itself with air. A musculature gentle and strong enough to, put, to draw in and push out. A network of trees and soil and fertile ground nourished by the living and dead. A history of millions and millions and hundreds of millions of years of plant cousins receiving the sun and nitrogen and carbon dioxide breathing out oxygen, their so-called waste, and our pervasive treasure, our condition of possibility. What does it mean to say multiple things in the same breath? The breath allows a space of intermingling, of co-contamination, of cross-pollination or mixing. A slowness of breathing allows thought to breathe, allows a being to breathe, allows an existence or a network to breathe, a person, an animal, and all persons are animals to be sure, is a network. A body is always more than one. One is always another. A slowness of breath brings one deeper into oneself and gives one more fully to the others that surround us.
the breathing is potentiality. Inhalation is vulnerability. Exhalation is power. The two are inseparable. What's in a breath? Breathe deeply as you read or hear this now. Everything. Thank you. Thank you, Andrew. And that was actually that was actually a perfect way to end the evening about about breathing, right? And there's never just one breath. Okay. Uh, uh, round of applause for everyone who came out tonight and who read this evening.